Hello friends, it's Shadow Ready here, playing some more World of Warship. So, today we are going to be doing a video about what ship type you should be probably playing as, as a new player. So this is going to be an updated list from my previous one, and let's dive right on into it, alright? And if you have any comments about it, what you think is the best ship type, let me know down in the comment section below. Alright, so... For the first one is what is on our screen right now. It's a submarine. I would say submarines are probably the hardest ship type to play as whenever you're first starting out this game. It's a completely different mechanic than everything else that you learn in this game. And not going to lie, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of dedication to even get anywhere close to getting any kills or any scores of damage and that type of stuff. And yes, I know you have those homing torpedoes which are great and all but that is literally all you have um so it's kind of a double-edged sword so it's not very optimal for the beginners let's just say that first and foremost so beginners i would highly avoid going down the sub line not until you feel comfortable with the game I would say probably wait until you get to like tier 7, tier 8, until you dip your toes into the subline. Just because it's just so different, and you should just probably learn the main mechanics of the game first. Um, but, once again, if you take the time and dedications to becoming a sub player, you can be very, very annoying. But once again, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice just to become one of those amazing sub players. So that's how I feel about the subs. Now, this would be a great time to mention that this would be a perfect opportunity to subscribe to my channel, as I'll be posting some more content constantly. Um, bear with me, trying to make everything better and more streamlined. But I've just noticed on my, kind of like my subscriber thing, um, that only 10% of you have subscribed to this channel. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe, and you'll just be notified whenever I post some awesome videos. So coming up next is going to be the Destroyers. The Destroyers is probably going to be a very challenging role for most players, especially if you're brand new. It's just because you have to, a very thin line of be becoming like the spotter, um, trying to spot everybody and not be detected. Because as soon as you're detected, usually people just turn all their guns towards you. Aircraft carriers will love to t attack you, and it's just no fun. Um, especially in the beginning at first it seems awesome especially like whenever you can yolo and run down the middle and throw all your torpedoes out and get a lot of damage and kills uh the lower tiers i will admit is a lot of fun for destroyers but once you hear it about tier five and six and seven that's whenever it becomes no fun <laughs> um which is unfortunate because mostly it's due to this mechanic called radar um until they change the way radar works in this game i do not see it being an easy time for you guys especially whenever you're learning at the lower tiers that you're just supposed to go in guns ablazing, throwing out all your torpedoes and you have like really fast reloading torpedoes it just does not make a great environment for the new players so just be wary if you're a new destroyer player that whenever you're hit about tier five and above you get your butt kicked it's a whole different game um it's changed from being guns blazing to spotting and picking your targets and picking the right opportunity um if you are familiar with world of tanks it's going to be like a light tank so you got to pick your opportunity and the longer that the destroyer makes it throughout the game the more deadly they become so that's like the biggest thing to learn about is just trying to make it to the end of the game once you make it to the end of the game you can literally run the table you can either cap stuff that other ships can't cap while you're not detected you could spot for your enemy you can spot the enemy so that your team can destroy them and you could just do sneak attacks all the time so overall destroyers are really really worth it in the end but it's very hard for a new player to learn about them that's what i'm gonna say because basically wargaming kind of screws you at the beginning i um, thinking it's a very fun very destructive way but once you hear tip five it changes for the dip changes so bad <laughs> changes so much that it just whoops you and radar unless they change the mechanic of radar where they just have one button to automatically spot you until you get out of their range or it goes on cooldown until there's a mechanic to counter that there's nothing you can do so that's why you kind of have to be careful but once again very rewarding if you can do it that's my personal favorite but i will not recommend it to a new player 
Coming up next is a cruiser. Cruisers are a lot of fun, I will admit. There's a lot of shooty shoot, bang bang type of stuff. You're kind of like a jack of all trades, um, just depending on your cruise line, your nation as well. Because, like for example, um, you have the U.S. where you could be basically an AA. Don't ever do that until they change mechanics of AA fire, radar, and hydro, and everything's just kind of basic and just generic. And then you got your Japanese, which just automatically is like a hit and run tactic, um, setting on fires and everything like that. Your Germans are gonna spot all the torpedoes. Your Russians can spot all the destroyers so it's just a lot of like jack of all trades type of thing and you're basically a support ship you gotta throw that into your head that you are a support ship you're not out there to try to do a lot of damage yes that is overall the goal but if you are throwing yourself out there exposing yourself way too much you will be punished you're the first type of on this type of list that we've done this is the first ship that does have a citadel and citadels hurt especially whenever a battleship targets you so you got to make sure that you're angled or going away or zigzagging or changing speeds and that type of stuff so you always have to be on your toes and changing direction speed or something along those lines just so that people cannot hit you right in your sweet spot your citadel that being said Cruisers are very fun. They can be a lot of fun. They fire really fast. You're great at destroying destroyers most of the time. It just depends on your ship type, of course. But for the most part, you're going to be great as long as this is, once again, kind of the same type of concept as a destroyer. The longer you stay in the battle, the more deadly you become. But that's the thing is everybody focuses you. They first go destroyers and then they go cruisers because usually what happens is the cruisers are getting out of position because they saw a destroyer and once they get out of position oh your citadel magnet almost depends on how you play of course but just keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're playing cruisers granted you have a little bit more i feel like you have a lot more flexibility and survivability than a dd because you have more health but granted you have a citadel and it can go away real fast uh, tier 5 is going to be your worst tier and it's going to be your wake up call. I'm going to be honest with you because every single ship in that line on tier 5 is awful. It's just basically a citadel magnet. So that's whenever you really do learn your mechanics of this ship type. Yes, you do will still have those fast firing guns for most ships. And yes, you're going to be able to set fires for the most part. And you just kind of have to play how to be a support. Um, that's basically the overall characteristics of a cruiser player it's a team game unfortunately right <laughs> so next up is probably going to be the most controversial thing on my list so far as you can see it's all the way to number two on this list and it's a carrier i know it's shocking i would not have thought about this a couple of years ago i said do not even think about it but ever since they made the new mechanic for the new or new playing style, let me rephrase that, new playing style for a carrier, it makes your life so easy. It's just a point and click adventure, basically, let's be honest. Um, yes, you can get better with being a carrier. Um, yes, there are better tactics, as you can kind of see on screen. But for the most part, you're going to be doing very well regardless of what you're doing because you'll be at least able to hit once with one strike of your planes that you have going on at that moment in time um and the other thing too for the most part depending on where you position yourself with the carrier as long as you put yourself behind an island you're going to be safe for the most of the game so you're going to make it to the end of the game so unless you're playing dumb or leaving out yourself out in the open make sure you're playing paying attention to the map it's really easy to get caught up with just playing as your planes, but you also just have to pay attention a little bit to your map. Just make sure that you're in a good position and nobody's going to run you over type of thing. But carriers are very rewarding. Wargaming right now has not punished carriers whatsoever. Um, AA does not exist in this game. The most AA defensive boat ever I've seen still gets a strike of something off on them and then they shoot down the rest of the planes. It just blows my mind how easy it is right now in this current state to be a carrier um unfortunately i have to say this um it could change um but right now it's really easy to be a carrier and i'm sorry for you all the veterans right now that are still listening to this video they're like oh no we're gonna shadow already just made a bunch of new carrier people i have to face more carriers until wargaming fixes their game there's no reason why you shouldn't be a carrier it's so easy um 
once again, it's a point and click adventure. Um, you just have to learn your timing of things, which doesn't take a lot of time, to be honest with you. After you play a couple of games, you're going to know your timing of things. Um, and so what? If these planes get destroyed, cool. You get another one in 30 seconds or so. So the amount of repairs and everything like that and the timing it takes to launch a strike aircraft and having them attack people while you are completely safe does not make any sense whatsoever but also it's super easy for this game right now um, so until wargaming fixes this I'm gonna say this probably about 500 times I feel like but until we have some new mechanic with defensive fire and how AA works against aircraft and how you can control it and it actually works there's nothing that will break the carrier merit meta right now so um basically i'm sorry in advance but new players you should actually kind of look at new carriers if you want to um i have a video here if you want to check it out but for the most part they're pretty easy to do up next as to no surprise for a new player is a battleship um first and foremost i mean at first you're going to be really slow whenever you're about tiers one through five can be longer depending on your tier and nation but for the most part it's a good thing that it's slow you get to learn the game you get to see what's happening on the battlefield and then you can react to it a little bit faster because you have to react to it faster than anything else because you're just so slow and once you learn how to shoot your guns oh it's so rewarding so many citadels so much devastation strikes everything under the sun so worth it and then also too on top of that you just have to keep mindful of is basically a lot of people can focus you down so don't get yourself too far extended um don't be the main center point but you still can be and that's because you have more health than any other ship in the line um so you just kind of need to know when to take your risk and when not to but once again that just comes with time and experience in this game you're going to be very very impactful no matter what you do um even if you try to run down two brothers middle you're still going to be impactful um just don't do that all the time learn from your mistakes this is the easiest ship type to learn it gives you all the mechanics besides probably radar but if you're playing the missouri or some other type of random premium ship that has radar hey looky there you learn it um but overall Battleships can get caught out really fast. That's the only thing that you have to kind of pay attention to. And whenever it's like the last ship alive, they can be focused down. And whenever you get focused down, that's whenever you lose. So you got to make sure to take full advantage of the beginning of the game. And then also try to learn to transition to using cover, using your teammates' spotting abilities and everything like that to just make sure that you're in the best possible position at the end of the game. So... With that being said, hopefully you guys agree with me. Let me know down in the comments section below if you think there's a better ship type for new players. Just let me know down below. Also, please feel free to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And other than that, have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>